Hey guys, and welcome back to Twilight Princess. In the last part, I showed you the, um, the Cave of Ordeals. And now, we're gonna go ahead and start it. As you can see, I have a little bit more rupees. I came in, like the last video, I had, um, 611, and now I've got 810. So, yeah, I went and grinded for some rupees. Now, I'm, I used, um... Game facts, just to figure out where all the little digging spots are. So, um, I'll be showing off each and every one of those. So, number four, uh, number first, jump down, kill the moblin. One four done. And don't worry, you don't have to watch a cutscene of the uh, floor coming down every time. So, yeah. Now, okay. I'm sure lots of people have shown the Cave of Ordeals, but I don't know if I've seen one that did it with three hearts. So hopefully this will be interesting for you guys to watch instead of just, you know, another freaking Cave of Ordeals run. Come on, die. Okay. Now, come in here. You're going to want um, all three bomb bags, all of your, you know, your arrows, your bombs, your double capacity, your big quivers, everything. You're going to want maxed out supplies. Now, I actually do not. I'm missing one bomb. I'm hoping that won't come back to bite me, but yeah, I've got three milks and one fairy. So yeah, um, the name of the game here is, well, I mean, with any run of the Cave of Ordeals, the name of the game is Patience and um, Saving Your Supplies. Because, you know, I instead of hitting those guys with arrows, you saw me hitting them with, with my claw shot. You can't be just using your supplies all over the place. You have to be careful here. And I almost just lost my HP on the third floor. That would suck if I had. Um, it's important to uh, pick up the rupees because, well, it's going to help you with your magic armor. Now, um, right here on the third floor, you have your first uh, digging spot. You can get one recovery heart. So, if you lost HP, then you can make a little bit of it back. There are a total, out of out of 50 floors, there are four places where you can dig recovery hearts, I believe. There's a total of five dig spots, in, like, at all, but only a few of them actually give hearts. So, another technique that you can use is to use the jump strike like this. Like that. So if you want to use it like that, you can. It's actually really helpful to be able to just jump down and instantly kill whatever's beneath you. Another thing that's really helpful is the back slice, because it helps you kill enemies like this that seem to block you from behind. <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> that's four. This isn't gonna take very long because I'm just gonna be blasting through it. But um, oh, jeez, whew! You see that, man? All right, so we got archers. All right, that's one. All right. Whoa, whoa. All right, come on. Bam, there we go, not bad. So that's five floors. The, you have to be very, very evasive. You've gotta be careful. This isn't so much like you're gonna die in one room. It's you're gonna get worn down over time and then you're gonna lose on the last floor. That's the thing. You cannot just rush into this and expect to make it through if you're not careful. Especially not if you're doing a three heart run. Now, I've already done this before. Like, this is going to be the third time I've beaten this when I do this. Because this is, this is happening. You hear me? This is happening. So, this is going to be my third time doing this. So, I'm not really a stranger to the Cave of Ordeals. So... I hope that my techniques assist you in your endeavors to do this with three hearts, or, you know, with 20 hearts, whatever you choose to do this with. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for that floor. And let's see. Um, again, you're going to want to be careful. Walk slowly up here, because you don't know if you're going to be running into archers that nearly shot me like last time, remember? Okay, so we got fire keys and the thingy. Be careful if you have the great spin, because that is one of your best friends. It's def it's your most long-range attack with uh, the sword. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Aha! Instant kill from the front. You see that? That's what I'm talking. Oh, boy! Ah. See, I'm not afraid of dying. It, it's 
<laughs> if you have the great spin, you're not going to be afraid of dying. You're going to be afraid of just taking a hit and losing the ability to actually use your great spin. Because that's one of your most valuable attacks in here. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, what's, it, what's next? These beginning floors are going to be really boring because it's all these really easy enemies. So, I apologize, but I know people are probably going to want to... You're going to want me to show you how I do it. So, yeah. Bam! Mm. I hate you, Tektites. You suck. And that was very, very satisfying to see all of them just insta-die like that. But, yeah, I mean... I've already gotten 80 rupees, and we're not even 10 floors down. So that's awesome. Uh, okay, Lizalfos. Um, let's see. You're going to actually want to scout out your, your battles here. Um, well, you know what? I got plenty. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and use my bomb arrows for these guys. I don't feel like dying. Kaboom. There we go. All right, that floor is done. Oh, jeez. Oh, I forgot about that. There's one There's one other enemy in here. He's right beneath you. See, look what they do there. You see? That's such a dick move. Oh, yeah. I freaking blocked it with a great spin. Mm. All right. That's what they really love to do. They're going to put enemies, like, way out here. So you can see them from there. And then they're going to hide enemies right beneath it. And you have no way to know that they're there. So, be careful about that. And I believe... Yep, we're ten floors down. Alright. Time to meet the great fairies of these games. Or this game. Not these games, but you know. Okay, uh, seven minutes. Not bad. Seven minutes! Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you! Alright. So, you have the only attractive great fairy in, these enti in the entirety of Zelda, and even then, she's still kind of ugly. <laughs> or it, he, she, it, whatever. Because, you know, I, I'm sure they don't like, they don't have genders or whatever, but, okay. Um, uh, what do we got? Okay, just these stupid little things here. Anything below? I can't see. Even if there is, I couldn't see it. Aha! Man, I lost my thing. Crap. Oh, well, I only took one hit. So that's not bad. Ten fours. Ooh! Whew! Glad I didn't miss all those. Oh yeah. Man! Oh well. Die, stupid rat. But that, that's okay. I mean, you're gonna get other segments where, like, other floors... Whew! Other floors where you can dig up hearts. So it's okay, even if you do take heart... Even if you do take a hit early on. It's not really the end of the world. But yeah, um... As you go down further and further, they're going to, you know, make you need to have other items. So you need your spinner here. Later on, you're going to need the double claw shots. You're going to need the dominion rod, stuff like that. And you're going to be fighting enemies like, oh, I hate these things. All right. Uh, okay, nothing there. Um, just a big purple chew. You can take them on from here. It's just a little bit tricky with a claw shot. So... If you want to take it, if you want to be safer, you do it that way. But, of course, I mean, it's not like they're fast or anything, so you can just do it from here. See, just like that. That's a good way to fight these things if you don't feel comfortable fighting them. Because when they reform, when they, like, assimilate each other, they're invincible. So it's kind of hard to tell when you're actually able to attack them. And they'll get, like, a little, they'll get the jump on you. But, of course, it's just purple chews, so, yeah. Um, I would not recommend putting that in a bottle, though, because um, purple chew, it either gives you one heart or it takes one heart. And usually what happens is it will give you a heart and then take it back. So it's really aggravating. Now, again, in the interest of saving supplies, you can get these guys out of their bubbles with bomb arrows, but why would you do that when you can just get them with the claw shot? There's no point to not just use your claw shot to save your bomb arrows. Trust me, you're going to need them way later. So just save your bomb arrows for when you need them, even though you have literally over 100 of them. 
or well, not over, but you have at a max 100 bomb arrows. So, anyway, continuing down, and yeah, these these first floors are going to be really boring. Uh, what is that? Oh, I know what this is. Skulls. Whoopee. See, yeah, see. So we got bubbles. Um, I don't really know what I want to do with this. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll just jump down. I mean. There we go. These guys are going to drop a lot of rupees. So if you need rupees, come to this floor. <laughs> there we go. Oh, crap. That's bad. Uh, don't do that now that I think about it. Don't do the finisher because they're going to be hopping around. They're going to be really difficult to actually hit with it. And hey, I killed them all and I didn't even take a hit yet. Well, <laughs> I have to say yet because I could have taken a hit right there. But yeah, I beat them all. I didn't take a hit. And we're at max rupees. Yay. So even if you don't come in here with full rupees, uh, you can max out pretty quickly. Uh, what are those? Oh, they're little moblins. Okay. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, come on. Kaboom. There we go, you see? Kaboom. There we go. So easy. And see, it's easier to get rupees in here because, I mean, if the enemies always dropped hearts, then it would be way too easy. So they, they are literally programmed to not drop hearts and supplies. So the only thing they can drop is... Oh, keys. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I know what this is. What room this is. Um, I think it's uh, rats and keys, and possibly ghost rats. Um, there we go. Kill them. Yeah, these are the rooms where you need to be careful if you still are at full health, because you know they small enemies that can. Yeah, you see, like that rat. He just got a hit while I was focusing on the keys. Oh well. I'm pretty sure we're coming up on a floor where we can uh, get health, though, so that's cool. Um, yep, this is it. This is the room where we can get another uh, health thingy. We have zombie uh, wolfos down there, and that's what they are. They're wolfos. I never knew that these guys were wolfos until just recently. Watch out for the Poe, of course, because... Ah, dang it, freaking Poe. All right. Ugh. I hate this Poe. Because he's the only thing that's going to give me trouble in here. Get away. Okay. Is that all of them? No, of course not. So just run around and do spin attacks. That's about the best way. Because if you take any amount of time to stay near a Wolfos, then he's going to get a hit on you. So, dang it! Ugh. Freaking... Oh, I hate these Poes. Die. There we go. Yeah, a couple of your posos, your posos, a couple of your posols are gonna be in here. So, friggin' die already! Stop taking like an hour just to get up out of the ground. Ugh. All right. So there's that. I only took. Well, I think I'll be able to heal. Now I believe this is where the heart piece or the heart is. Um. Hello. This is what it said in the guide, like on GameFAQs. I checked out, and it said there was going to be a, a digging spot here. So here, I need to look around. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Is it not here? I mean, I guess I would see it pretty clearly, but... Alright, I'll look just a little bit more. Because I just want to make absolutely sure. Oh, okay. I guess there's no heart thing there. Maybe it's the next floor. I remember another guide saying it was the 18th floor, so let's see. Um, let's see. This is going to be choose. I know it. They're going to drop down from the ceiling. Watch. Oh, levers. Okay. Come on. Boom! Haha! -ha. That's how you do, uh, that's how you kill levers really easily. And that's the whole floor. <laughs> Oh, okay, here. Let's go ahead and check. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. Now, of course... Aha! There it is. They got it wrong. Yay! Alright. 
Haha, -ha, I know what I know something that GameFAX doesn't. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, um let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Awesome. Okay, so there's a purple chew. Kill him. Now, um I mean I don't even need to worry about it, but basically that's a rare chew right there. That little shiny spot, if you hit that, here I'll show you. Say it's a rare chew. And if you scoop that up, it basically gives you a full heal that boosts your attack power. However, for me, that's not really all that important. And that's what happens when you get too close. Whew! There we go. And see, when you get too close, the chews come down, the purple ones will assimilate the, the rare one, and then you'll, you'll miss out. So be careful about that. So, just like last time, um, use your claw shot, take them out from a distance, and save your, um, you know, your arrows. Um, come on. Look at the size of that thing, man. Jeez. I hate these things. They're so aggravating. Alright, uh, we're almost done here, though. Uh, once I get to the 20th floor, like the next time we hit a, a ferry, I'm going to end it off and so we can continue in the next part. So, yeah. I don't want this to take too long because this can be a very tedious dungeon because it's nothing but fighting. But, yeah. Let's see where I'm at now. I don't even know. Uh, 16 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, what do we got? Um, okay, we got, we're at the ferry. Awesome. So, Whenever you get to a ferry, just jump down, talk to it, and um, I kind of skipped the dialogue last time, but basically every time you get down 10 floors, you're going to meet a great fairy. And what the great fairy is going to do is it's going to release, um, here, let's see. I will release fairies to Farron Spring. So now, whenever you go to um, the Farron Spring, you know, where Farron the Light Spirit is, there will be fairies there that you can get in bottles. So that's just a helpful little thing that once you do this, you'll have access to fairies whenever you need them. So yeah. Um, now that we are down 24s in the Cave of Ordeals, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. And then the next part, we will continue even further down. So see you guys then.